Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. The last episode, we showed off a little bit more of the Grand Underground, <coughs> and we finally went after Gardenia, the second gym leader, and we kicked her butt <laughs> without any issues, because <laughs> we're pros like that. And in this episode, we're going to finally take on this Team Galactic building. Just so you know, this is actually important to do. Uh, because if we go to this um, cyclist shop... Oh, yes, I thought that was a window. I thought that was a door. Oopsies. Because if we go here, the manager's gone off to the, to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. <laughs> yep. We gotta go see what the... The... Bike cyclist dude is doing in Team Galactic building. But with that being said, we're actually gonna go do something real quick. Hold on, I actually wanna see. Is my berries done? They are done. I'm gonna collect them off screen. <laughs> yeah, something I actually do wanna show off real quick is because of us having the ability to cut, we can go through a few more areas. First of all, I'm not gonna show this off, but if we come right here, we can cut this, these trees and go up into a mansion that's up here. There is actually a few, there is actually an item we can grab. Out, that's outside? I am actually not gonna show off the mansion right now, purely due to the fact because hold on. Hold on. I have repels. I don't know why I'm not putting on any of my repels. Yes. I'm putting this on. I'm not running into a wild Pokemon. This Ether! I thought there was There we go! An instant an insect plate. I knew it. The power of the feed at giants infuses this plate. So, we can actually come into this mansion and explore right now, but there is something important in it that's only available after the main game, so that's what I'm gonna wait for to explore as. In the mansion, you can catch ghost type Pokemon like Ghastly, and they're not bad Pokemon. I mean, I think pretty early on right now. Oh, nah, I'm good. I think pretty early on right now, it's actually pretty good. There is actually something I want to do before I go off to Team Galactic Voting as well. But right now I'm going to go show off this little area. So first of all, we got four more berries. A raspberry. I think that's new actually. I think the raspberries are new. <laughs> I don't think we've had the raspberry yet. Two, there are two bulk berries. I think these are also new. I think these two might just be for a uh, poffin menu. Something that we have no idea about yet. Oh, can I plant five berries here? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so rich with berries. Oh yeah, there's something else. Can I plant six berries? There's something else I should actually note. That... Hold on, I'm being swallowing. There is something else I should also point out, just in case for everybody wanting to uh, know. If you go to the town map and you do location and information, you can actually check out where all the berries you planted are at. As well as where all the honey tree, all the honey trees that haven't been slathered with honey are at, or any trees that you have slathered with honey are at, and any of the honey trees that are ready to be uh, investigated. So, again, the town map is actually pretty good, and I say use it. So the raspberry and bookberry are new. I'm actually gonna plant them right here then, because <laughs> these are gonna be important later on, most likely, at least to me. I think I don't know. I will laugh if they're actually not important at all. I think that trainer down there is actually important. I think she gives us a TM, I believe. Let's go find out real quick. Instead of guessing. What do you guys say? Oh, so you know about capsule decorations too? Then I'll give you these stickers. Oh, okay, she's just a sticker person. Okay. I don't mind that. I'll collect berries and trade them for stickers in Floroma Town. A single sticker can create a totally different impression depending on where you place it. Sometimes I'll spend all day worrying about exactly how to decorate my pod capsules. Uh, this is just a honey tree. I don't know where this goes. Where does this go exactly? Ooh, another item. Uh, silver powder. I think that's only for dittos, I think. I can check that out real quick. A TM 82. I was about to say 83. Sleep talk. Sleep talk is not too bad of a move. If your Pokemon has rest uh, and you use sleep talk, it can actually still perform some of its other attacking moves. Just note, it can also still end up uh, using rest though, so just just heads up with that. Okay, 
here it is. Is a sh oh, it boosts the power of bug type moves. That's not bad. But none of my team members have any bug type moves, so. Oh yeah, I should also note I actually went down to the underground in between episodes and got Thunder Wave. I was wait, Murkrow can learn it? I didn't know Murkrow can learn Thunder Wave. Oh, that's actually. Mm, I thought Thunder Wave was 100% accuracy, but I was wrong. Uh, I got an ether. I don't remember where I got this ether from, but it restores your PP. Oh, actually, just so you know, I still haven't taught Water Pulse yet because I'm still debating on it. I mean, I'm not too worried about using it because I can just go right back down and get it again, but eh. <laughs> okay, and then we gotta go back to Floroma Town because I believe there was also another tree down here that we could cut. I'm not cut. Yeah, cut down. Yeah, see, I got so many berries all over the place. <laughs> Actually, now that we got a brand new honey tree to explore, I'm gonna see if maybe that one has much sex. Where was that? Where is that one tree that I could cut? I know there was one down here. Or was I wrong? Was I wrong? Was there no trees? No, there was! Okay, there it is. Oh my god, I thought I was wrong. I was like, oh no. You! Hi! I teach at the trainer school and I'd like to give you a special lesson. But before I do, I want you to have these TMs. Attain TM78. What are these ones? Uh, when you get snarled at, you wince a bit. It's the same for Pokemon. The move snarl lowers the target's special attack, or special attack for short. You'll probably, you'll, you also probably know this, but TM is good for only one usage. Ooh, actually, she gave me snarl. That is a good dark type move. Uh. She gave me three. I'm gonna teach this to Murkrow right now, actually. <laughs> yeah, like she said, it, it's not a bad special type, uh, dark type move. It can lower the opponent's special attack. I am, ah, I'm keeping, I was keeping Nightshade for a reason, but with Snarl, I think, I'm gonna take Snarl, actually. <laughs> yeah, I actually had Night, oh, actually, you know what, I probably should've kept Nightshade for a bit, because I was gonna go catch a, uh, another Pokemon for my team. Not a permanent team member, just a substitute. But I think that's all we can do for right now with Cut. So for right now, I'm actually going to meet you guys back in, uh, in Turner City. So I'll be right there for y'all. I'm going to pick up all my berries while I'm on the way. So uh, <laughs> give me a second. No! <coughs> well, I guess I can say I'm back now. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm not fighting a wild metatite, it's because uh, <laughs> it's not what I was wanting. I just randomly ran into it. I am actually wanting to go all the way to the right because there's a little cave over here that I want to see. But I didn't think we had to fight this guy. And my current Veneri doesn't know freaking Rock Smash or Double Kick. Well then, you know this would be the time I wish I had Ice Punch. The Ice Punch would actually work. <laughs> Uh, you know, well, I was gonna say Heracross too, but. From love! Mercro could also do something, but I'm not switching it out onto a rock type. No, seriously. Red love can do this. Roll out. Oh, that's a good thing I didn't actually. See, things like this is where I'm like, Water Pulse wouldn't be a bad idea on a Veneri. I can have it handle the rock types and fights. Granted, it's not needed because it does get double kicked eventually. Onyx. Oh. Sorry about me yawning again in your guys' ears. I'm actually not sleepy. If anything, it's actually. I think I probably just woke up. Hey! <laughs> uh, Level up! <laughs> Two eleven. Yes. Smash this boulder! Actually, 
funny enough, I don't think you can even... This is gonna be a fight I think we're forced into, so with that being said, I actually wanna have Mirko come out and use his uh, snarl. Show it off. Look at these beautiful wings! I am actually kinda glad that, um, oh, it's showing his, aw, uh, I was actually wanting to use Veneria as well, but it's okay. A uh, hoot hoot! You know, funny enough, I actually would have chosen to use over Murkrow, but I was like, I want to use Murkrow. I've never actually used a Honchkrow in, for uh, any of my playthroughs, so let's give it a shot. This is why I like Snarl. Snarl's not a bad dark type move early on, like, yeah, once you get later into the game, it's going to be so overpowered by uh, a lot of other dark type moves, but for now, it's pretty good, and I like the fact that I can lower special attacks. So if I need to actually switch out from Murkos to somebody else, that special uh, attack lowering can be great. Oh, you. I'm gonna peck at you. I'm going to peck you for that. Whoa, whoa, okay, hold on. This is a fair fight. First versus first, ma'am. <laughs> we found TM12 Taunt. So what Taunt does is if you use it on your opponent, it makes it where they cannot use status moves. So like Abra, if you use it on an Abra, it won't be able to use teleport. Uh, if you use it on anybody who has sword dance or like my hair cross who had endure, it won't be able to use endure. It can only use attacking moves. So it's not a bad idea. <laughs> but it is actually a specific Pokemon I do want to catch that's in this cave right here. If anything, I think there's actually quite a few good Pokemon in this cave. <laughs> Geodude is not the one I'm looking for. I'm probably gonna cut ahead. Because this might take my while, so hold on, y'all. <laughs> oh! Hey! You found a revive! <laughs> I wasn't actually trying to look for it. Oh! Hey, and I am back. And no, this Machop is not what I was going after. <laughs> Funny enough, so when I started this episode off, uh, it was apparently morning time. But because I waited a little too long, 15 minutes to per se now, to it's currently daytime. So, yeah, 18 minutes. This episode started off. Like, almost 30 minutes ago. So, meaning, I, I actually had time to catch the Pokemon I wanted, but... Like, oh. Well, to sh actually, this proves you, uh, this does prove that the Grand Underground does count towards your step. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. And it does show you how much I've actually walked down there. I'm gonna refresh this. That's kind of funny. But yeah. Uh, 18 minutes. Just... 18 minutes that was how far I was off I'm so I can still catch it now but it's only a 5% chance of it popping up and for that reason I've decided I'm just gonna hold off until the next episode I'll I'll come back and catch it later it's not that big of a deal to uh, get it now so I'll wait but I can't believe it if I actually would have just started this episode off with me just going right after right after uh, yeah, to go right after it I would my five. I think for me it's just the fact that I don't know what times are morning, day, or like I know when it is nighttime clearly, but when is it morning or daytime for this game? I'm like I actually don't know, and I just found out that apparently 4 a.m. to 9:59 is when it's daytime, and I'm uh, when it's morning time, and afterwards is more as uh, daytime. I messed that up. When it's when it's 4 a.m. to 9:59 a.m., that is when it's done being morning time, and then the rest of the time it's gonna be day. Okay, so thief is actually a pretty good ab uh, ability. It's a pretty good move to have. So what it does is, uh, hold on, I thought there was a hidden item over here. But what a thief does is, if you teach it to one of your Pokemon that doesn't have a hold item on it right now. It will actually go around and steal any hold item that a wild Pokemon or a trainer might have. So, if you use it against a gym, a gym leader who usually has a, a Citrus Berry, 
you can steal that citrus berry from them and actually have your Pokemon use it instead. Or if you go down to the Grand Underground and um, and use it on the Pokemon that have like a 5% fi chance of having a hold item, you can get their hold item from them. So it's not a bad it's not a bad thing. So like if you're looking for an electif uh, electric kit with an electivizer or you're just looking for the item itself, you can just go around stealing it. Team Galactic isn't interested in the world. Our gaze is beyond the stars. Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What? You're not? Then kindly get off our property. Do we have to bring the pain like we did with a Cycle Shop manager? I don't want any pain. We're gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. Sorry, dearie. Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. Well, I don't want to be part of your uh, uh, psychopathic group. Alright, here we go. A double battle against two Team Galactic grunts. A Wormful and a Zoo Bad. Actually, you know what? This is actually good. I finally get to use Baneri's uh, brand new move, Thunder Punch. Let's go. It's a waiting. After so long, I'm not. After not being able to use it a few times in, in its fights, it, it can finally use it now. Let's go! Thunder Punch! <coughs> Look at that, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. And the fact that it can cause paralysis too. I'm like, yush. And I leveled up. Ooh. Ah, oh, good! I was gonna be like, oh my god, it's gonna land double kick soon. And it did. I'm gonna get rid of Baby Doll Eye. Yeah, it's not a bad idea to lower the uh, opponent's uh, physical attack, but I'd rather raise up my own attack for right now. Besides, I still have Lexio if I want to do that, so not a big deal for me. That's it, I knew you could do it, Herald Cross! Also, funny enough, uh, Veneer is actually the only Pokemon in the Grand Underground for the rest of my team who gets an egg move that I'm interested in. The rest of my team members who I'm gonna catch later on in the series. They actually don't get an egg move that I'm particularly uh, fond of. That I, I'm like, I don't really care for it. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> funny enough, uh, which is funny because if I would have actually looked at the, dang it, if I would have actually looked at my team members, I would have actually swapped out. But like, yeah, you know what? I'll catch Murkrow in the Eternal Force instead, and catch Maneri in the Grand Underground instead. Uh, would have been funnier. Double kick! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Nice. I, I will admit, I am kind of like, you know, how my team's going so far. Because I'm just like, these guys are actually working out so great. Ooh! Born attack. That's a normal type move, but it's stronger than a uh, tackle, and I'm going to definitely take it. I know I should probably have gotten rid of Fury Attack if I do want to go out and catch my Pokemon, but I have weaker Pokemons if I actually want to go do that, so it's like, not a big deal. I feel like I got meddled with. b b badiri you're just a kid! Okay, well, I just kicked your butt. <laughs> I actually barely any of my team got any damaged. I Baneri got hurt, but not by much. Uh, I've been using Luxio in forever, so you know what? I'm gonna put Luxio up in the lead. Let Luxio have some time to shine. Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. Our objectives are incredible, too incredible for me to understand. I'll fight blindly to defend him, and your intrusion won't be forgiven. To be fair, that sounds like most people who are working. Do 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 do. Then a Wurmple. <laughs> oh no, how deadly a Wurmple. Actually, what was he gonna say? Oh yeah, speaking of Wurmples, I actually have a funny story. I meant to tell the story while I was in Eternal Force, but I got so caught up trying to find my Baneri that I didn't. But, <laughs> funny enough, when I was just a wee little kid, I think maybe in third grade or fourth grade, and that was when I was playing a lot of Pokemon games, like Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Fire, Ugh. Fire Red and Leaf Green. For the longest time, <laughs> for that whole entire year, I don't know why, but I struggled to remember how to say the word Caterpillar, and instead, I kept saying Caterpie. 
Like, like I knew when I was younger, like when I started thinking about Caterpie as being the actual word for Caterpillar, I knew I was wrong. I was like, that's not the right word. What is the correct word? It's Caterpillar. No, it's Caterpie. Caterpie. Wait. So for the whole entire year, I legitimately thought Caterpie was the correct word. Maybe because I did, I forgot how to completely say Caterpillar. And to make it even worse, I don't, I forgot completely how to say Butterfly as well. Because my thought kept going to Butterfree and Beautyfly, I was like, wait, hold on, how do you say the actual word? Beautyfly? No, Butterfly. No, Butterfree. <laughs> so yeah, for the whole entire year, I legitimately forgot how to say two simple animals. I don't remember how I got back into actually saying caterpillar and butter butterflies. I don't remember how. I, I think it's just something that grew up on me now. I was like, okay, no, I remember this word. But yeah, I just thought that was just a funny thing about me. Like, I've told a few of my friends and they were like, oh my god. Uh, the things I do for Pokemon. We're conducting research on new forms of energy. We want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon. Okay. You do that. Uh, I think this is gonna be another battle. Yeah. Why? Thank you. We love it when people come to donate to us to donate their Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not donating my Murkrow. Screw you. My Murkrow is mine. You do another one. Oh, hey. Doo -doo. I just realized I did. I never explained the fact that I just nicknamed my Murkrow. Uh, Tatsu. I hope I'm saying the name right. But for anybody who's up, who has watched anime, I actually base this one off of the h house husband, the one who is who becomes a who is a gangster, but then ends up changing his life to become a house husband instead. The main reason I nicknamed it that was because uh, I kind of thought it was funny, and I feel like it's the same thing with Murkrow. So Murkrow is basically looking like a gangster and. And once it evolves, it even looks more like it. So I was like, you know what? This is technically on my team, and it's actually gonna be helping me save the world. It's like, it's technically gonna be uh, uh, putting in a new leaf as well. So why not? It fits. I like it. Let's go. The Neary! Zubat. <laughs> Thunder. Thunder Punch. I should probably thinking about something because so we already know we're fighting Team Galactic members and we all know we're gonna fight a boss here soon. Which by the way, that boss is also pretty tough, so I'm just thinking. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. I didn't think of it. I don't even know what's going on. Okay. Uh let's have Brent up in the lead. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the new world order that our boss will lead. <laughs> well, considering the fact that half of y'all don't even know what's going on, I highly doubt this. Kadabra! Ah, oh, you know what? This would have been a great opportunity to use Murkrow instead. Because Murkrow is immune to dark type moves, and it's not would have been super effective. I do know who I want to teach water pulse to now. I might teach it to, that, to my new team member I catch later on. Ooh, Swagger. So Swagger is not a bad move. What it does is it confuses your opponent while raising their physical physical attack. Now, mind you, wondering you might be wondering why would you want to do that? It's because of a Pokemon's uh, confused. They're, they mostly rely on their physical attacks to actually deal the damage they do to themselves. So, the more you raise their uh, physical attack and confuse them, the more they're going to hurt themselves. Now, this would actually not be too bad on a double battle in a, in a way if, you're, uh, if you have a way to heal off the uh, confusion. Because this is actually a good strategy to use in double battle. Is to use Swagger on uh, your team member 
if they have a berry to heal that confusion, then they get that free uh, attack boost. Mm, I'm not going to keep it because I have no need for it. Yeah, I have no need for a swagger. This won't go unpunished! I think it will if your commander is, is as weak as you guys. Uh, I'm gonna have... You know what? I'm gonna have Beniri out front first, and then I'm gonna heal her up with my berry. Also, I didn't realize that my uh, Heracost was a female. <laughs> I am actually kind of funny and funny. Uh, my permanent team members are split two and two. I'm like, that's actually kind of funny. I was not here for uh, TM. I was here for an orange berry. Yeah, I can actually heal up my uh, Beniri. Because I think this is... Yeah. It's this area. Anything around here? No. What is it What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Good question. What are y'all trying to accomplish? Eh? Did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. Okay, I can do it. You might be a little tough, but I can do it. Big Commander Jupiter. So, <laughs> in the original game, she was a pain in the butt to deal with. Not because of the Zubat. I think she has three team members, doesn't she? She only has two, okay. Might be able to deal with it, hopefully. But yeah, it's not because of the Zubat that it was an issue. It's because of the Pokemon after Zubat that's a problem. Ah, why does she get the poison first try and I don't get the paralysis first try? I will not let you bite me, young lady. And no, you get punched in the face. So it's not because of the Zubat, but it's because of her next team member that is the issue. Ow. Let's see. Yes, this skunk tank. So, I actually don't know who to use, really. I don't have anything that was super effective against skunk tank. I'm gonna go for Heracross. Because if she poisons me, I can actually do good. So, skunk tank is another fully evolved team member who uh, we can't get for a while. So, and it's pretty tough because it's poison dark type and the only Pokemon that's really effective against it is would be the Geodudes or Onyx for right now. Uh, you know what? Let's try our brand new Horn Attack. <laughs> we did not do that. Okay, you know what? This is okay, cause it. She just ma uh, activated my guts ability, so I am fine with this. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna go for an area race how much damage this does. So, this fight can be pretty hard and uh, it might actually... I am hoping it only takes me one try. So far, it seems like it's going good, thanks to the guts. Oh, I didn't know she had flamethrower. Ooh. I actually didn't... Oh, here comes, I actually did not want you to expel that poison. Ah. Uh, so that is the one issue with having your Pokemon have full affection uh, for you is they will, uh, they can get rid of their status affection, but uh, funny enough, it's actually kind of a challenge for me now, because uh, I actually don't want her across to expel its uh, poison. I actually need it to have its have its uh, status condition on. So, so much for making it easier for me, it's actually making it tougher for me. Dang it. Uh. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I see people be like, yeah, no, because of the affection, it makes the game too easy. <laughs> it's actually making it a little bit challenging for me. I literally need guts on Heracross. Sorry, but Uh, where's... YOLO! Sky attack! I don't think she has anything that's super effective against Marco. Let's see. Poison gas? Well, that's not going to kill me yet. We're, we're taking her down with an overkill. We should definitely take her out. Yep. 
Let's go! We won! Ooh, two love buffs. Four! It's not a bad move, but I'm not interested in it. It can help if your opponent sets up too much and you roar them out of their, uh, to switch into another Pokemon. But for me, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't need it. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay though, our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. And Mars has collected energies from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myth of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. How menacing. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you! But that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space, handed over! Their logic baffles me still. It's like they're from space. Anyways, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? I'm actually gonna cut until I get to the Pokemon Center because I need to heal up, so hold on. Okay, and we're back. I know I was gonna cut ahead until we get to the Pokemon Center, but I actually just prefer to be over here right now. Uh, I'm gonna move Heracross to the lead for right now. Yeah. What do you gotta say? What was Team Collector trying to do with other people's Pokemon? I don't know. Don't ask me. Thanks for rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show to show my gratitude. Please come with me for a moment. Okay. Ooh. Oh, never mind. I'd like you to choose a color for your bike. Which one will it be? <laughs> but my favorite color is green, so we're going to go for green. Look at me, I'm so stylish. Do you want a green bike? Oh, so they actually give you they give you a uh, they actually give you a preview of a kind of. Well, I've had the luck of how the color bikes look like, so if you don't actually want green, you can go for something else, but I'm going for green. Marvelous! You've chosen a fresh and lively green! It's somewhat reminiscent of the seed on Bulbasaur's back. It's perfect for you! You attained the bike! It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift gears, it says. In third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it'll be easier to handle. In fourth gear, it can ride at full speed and climb up slopes. Your bike can take you through all sorts of towns, roads, and routes. Now get out there and ride! Ride your bike from your backs! Oh, yeah, no. So what we're gonna actually do is... Register this bike. I might actually... I might actually take off that old rock because we don't need it. Okay, but I do want to know, can we switch colors, bike? I don't know. I don't remember where we can. Let's see. Uh, no, it seems like we can. So once you make your decision of what color you want, you're stuck with it for the rest of the game. Wee! Look at this! Wee! I actually kind of like this. Okay, so we did defeat a boss, but what we're gonna actually do is we're not gonna end it off just yet, mainly because of the fact as of um, I feel like I spent I think I spent like ten minutes trying to look for the Pokemon I wanted and I failed. So for right now, we're actually gonna go down to Cycling Road and just explore that for a little bit, and then cut the end the series off. End the series, cut the episode. Uh, something I want to do real quick though is sell some stuff. I don't need two metal plates. I'm gonna sell these, and I don't need three insect plates. I don't. I definitely don't need two dragon plates. I, I'm not even using a dragon type on my team for this uh, series. Uh, I don't need five of these, and I definitely don't need three of these. Uh, I can sell. I'm gonna wait to see what these do. I think the rare bronze I can just straight up sell. So I know I can sell the skull fossils, but I'm gonna actually hold off on selling them for right now. Maybe because of the fact that I might need them. Who knows? Also, can we buy anything new that, I don't, that we get two veggies? I don't think so. Nope, but I can get some more repels, which is what I need. 
Hold on, I'm getting... I'm gonna get me 15. How many Pokeballs do I got, actually? I got 25 and I got 12. Okay. I am A-OK -okay for right now. So let's get going. No more diddy-dally. Let's continue on our adventure. Whee! Oh. And I need to talk to you. Mika, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am? I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Lucas' father, Lucas. I've come a long way at the beneath of the professor to help you on your adventure. Mika, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you've met 50 Pokemon? Wonderful, yes, bravo. Professor Rowan should be delighted. Here is something for you. I obtained a rare candy. So that's not actually something that he gives you in the original. Also, yeah. Yeah, that's not something he gives you in the original. I think in the original he actually gives you a T an HM. I think it's HM Flash. But, cause f uh, I don't know if Flash is important in this generation, or in this remakes. Yo! Yo, yo, yo! Having a good time cycling? I was until you interrupted me, sir. Uh, there is actually somebody we want to fight on this route. <laughs> it is not this dude, so I might cut ahead and I have Heracross out in front. You know what? No, no, I'm keeping Heracross out. Never mind, I'm keeping Heracross out. <laughs> that intimidating hurts. I'll cut back I'll cut back once I'm done with this fight. I'll be right back, y'all. Damn, yeah, we beat we kicked his butt. Now let's see, is it you? <laughs> I worked up a good sweat Friday. I'm feeling great. Let's battle. Ew, you're sweaty. Go take a shower, nasty. Look at what she has. She has a sheets! Okay, she's not a trainer of interest. Cut in this fight too, hold on. <laughs> I'll fight that trainer eventually. Dude, God dang it, another intimidate. <laughs> I just want to use Heracross. I did not read what she said. Oops. Alright, this dude, I think, might be it. Hey, watch where you're going, or did you want to challenge me? Where to go? If your Pokemon has Intimidate as well, I'm gonna be so upset. No more Intimidate! Bonita? You know what? I can handle this one! Finally! Now imagine if this Bonita actually had Intimidate as well. I don't think it can. I think it has Runaway and Flash Fire. Alright. I am actually thinking about it now of think, uh, teaching Paracross uh, one of the rock type moves I have. I am thinking about it now because it's not a it wouldn't be a bad idea. It's just the fact of um, if I really want to. Because Rockin wouldn't be bad. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Most likely by the next by uh, next episode, I will actually have a decision made on that. Cause it's not needed and there is a Pokemon we're gonna be catching soon. Well not really catching, but getting soon. That I might teach Rock Tim to instead. But who knows? Also, is it you? Or is this trainer not even on this route? Starly? You're gonna have Intimidate, aren't you? No? Oh, sweet! No Intimidate! I can beat you up! Anyways, I'm gonna cut this fight out too. Oh, gee. <laughs> Good. Served it. Uh, is it you? Uh. I'm starting to think that trainer might not be here. I don't know. I have a feeling it might not be here. Was I wrong? I feel like I feel like that trainer was here on this on this bridge. I could I don't know, I don't remember. Maybe I'm thinking of platinum. Sorry, Avia, you know what? What? Yeah, we're gonna go to Murkrow, because I don't need I don't really need my physical attack for Murkrow. Murkrow has a special type move, so let's go. 
This is the one thing I like about Murko is like it can be a it can be a mixed attacker. Like this intimidate actually does not hurt me at all. I will admit, in the and uh the first in the generation Murko did come out and even in the original, Murko wasn't actually Ooh wait, critical hit! Oh, that means my super luck came in handy. Uh but I was the same. Uh, in the original, Murko actually wasn't that great. <laughs> Maybe because of the fact that, if I recall, the only special type, dark type move that it can learn was Dark Pulse, and it doesn't get that for a while until it evolves. So the fact that it can actually get Snarl now, it's a pretty good deal, honestly. So I will say, I feel like Murko's a lot better in this, in this remakes now with all the new moves it can learn. So it's like, eee! Go ahead and cuss. Man, heart attack is coming in handy right now. You know what's funny? Because uh, I, I did know there's a TM for Aerial, Aerial Ace. I was actually thinking about teaching it to Heracuss, but then I saw it actually already knows it. I'm like. I don't need it no more. Heracross is gonna be great. I don't know. I guess I'm, I guess I'm more a speedy kind of person. Despite the fact that I'm accident prone and I probably shouldn't be speeding. Is that trainer not up here? I could have sworn there was a trainer here who's the trainer of interest. Maybe I am wrong. Huh. Gosh. Darn it! You know what? No. Screw it. We're gonna keep it going anyways. So might be going on for a little too long, but it, it's okay. Corn attack! I think we're gonna cut this fight out too. <laughs> eh, most of these fights are, are going pretty quickly, honestly, so I don't mind it. Uh, I want to fight all of these trainers because I assumed one of them is a trainer of interest, but oh my god, I guess you gotta switch out. I don't think Heracross can take on, can take these guys on with two lower uh, physical attack. I even trying to remember. I guess it's not here. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they're here. Okay. Ah oh, well. Oh, they're probably somewhere else. Double kick. Actually, I would laugh at the train I'm looking for. If their Pokemon is not even actually needed till post game, I'm like, great. Oh yeah, I guess I should know. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the Jirachi and the Mew we get for free, uh, if you have the save data, they are not needed for your Pokedex. You actually don't need them. You don't need to see them in order to complete your, your Pokedex. So, just just thought I should give a heads up. I know I, I'm sure it might have been obvious that hey, they're mystical Pokemon, so they're not important. But I should give a heads up just in case nobody actually knows. Oh, here she is! Right here! This person! Yes, her Pikachu is actually an important Pokemon to see, because uh from what I can recall, there's actually a lot of there's she, I think she's the only one who actually has a Pikachu on her team. I don't think anybody else uses a Pikachu, so she is important. And I took her down with in one hit. <laughs> Weakling. Total wipeout! Darn right it was a total wipeout. Now is this the end? I would like a yes it is the end. Yeah, that's the only reason why I kept this cycling road in, because this route is pretty short. And I want to talk to you. You have a great bike, so I like to give you these great stickers. Three sky stickers. Go through Mount Coronet from here, and you can get to Heart Home City. That's where they hold super contest shows. You should die, you should die, blah, blah. you should try decorating your ball capsules with stickers if you want your Pokemon to be named the star of the show. <laughs> Maybe we will go check that out then. But for right now, we're not actually going over there. We're actually going to go back to Orbrick City. <laughs> Mainly because of the fact we got fossils. These, these are not new berries. I thought these were, but they are not. 
Yes, I would actually. I'm gonna actually plant the raspberry I got in here. Says. So, we are going to be cutting this episode off soon, actually. Oh! Hey, Mika! How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm doing great, as always. NOT! But that's not important. Lately, I've been experimenting with a couple of neat tools. I'll share with you. Mika, choose a hand. Mm, I'm a... I'm a right person, but I'll go left. Oh yeah? You want the VS Seeker? Yep, Mika, you know what's important. You obtained the VS Seeker! Using that VS Seeker, you can find trainers who want to battle with you again. Mika, what about Pokesh? Do you want one? Yep, you do. You can have this too then. You deserve it for all your effort, Mika. We the drowsing machine! You installed the app on the Pokesh. The drowsing machine is, well, just try using it. It will alert you if there is an unseeable item on the ground. It's especially handy for finding things in dark caves. Okay, keep working on Pokedex. Professor Rowan is counting on us. So what he used to say, the VS Seeker, we can challenge any kind of, we can re-challenge a lot of the trainers in the game, uh, but we have to recharge it by taking, I think, 150 steps. I could be wrong about that. But just know, be careful on which trainer you use it on, because it's not going to be every single trainer, but some of the trainers you refight will actually get stronger. So just a warning. And as for the drowsy machine, I actually don't know how it works in this game, so let's check it out. Okay, so we still have to do this. Yeah, in the DS version, this was a lot better, because uh, you can have it up there and not have to keep messing with it. Like, you can just leave it on, but I think with this, you actually have to keep constantly messing with it. You're kind of like, eee. Unless there's an actual easy way of using it. Yeah, I'm gonna plant the bulk berries here. <laughs> yeah, the bulk and raspberry, I'm gonna plant them right here because I do want more of these. I don't think I got any new berries from here, did I? No, I did not. So, raspberry it is. And I... Yes! Raspberry! Yes! Uh, you mentioned there was a uh, hidden item somewhere, but... I'll worry about that in the next episode, because either way, with what we're going to be doing next episode, we might be able to come across some hidden items. But yes, we're actually wanting to be here for this dude! Hello, hello! How are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here, and now. Do you have a fossil for me? Yes! Shall I turn it into a Pokemon? Yes! Skull fossil. I am in the process of extracting your Pokemon from a fossil. You go outside. Yes! Net, please! Now! Time alone is what I now need. Now! Okay, okay, okay. And then we go back in. Hello, hello, how are you? I studied Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. You were gone too long. You kept us waiting. Unacceptable. This is your Craniodos. You be good to it, okay? You received the Craniodos. It lived in jungles around 100 million years ago. Its skull is as hard as iron. Not yet. Yes, so depending on which fossil you get, the Skull Fossil, you'll get Craniodos, which is a pretty good Pokemon. It's a glass cannon, so it doesn't have the best defense ever. Ooh, actually this one sucks. <laughs> yeah, you want one that gets more physical attack. But yeah, Craniodos aren't bad. They're glass cannons, so they don't have the best defense. Like They'll go down pretty quickly, but they have a good attack, and I think their speed isn't the worst either. And for the um, for the armor fossil, you'll get Sheldon instead, who is more of a tanker than an attacker. So that Sheldon is not going to be taking out any Pokemon. Now, if you're wondering, hey, why am I actually trying to get all these Cranials as uh, fossils? Wow, again, twice in a row. Wow, none of the Cranials. I'm uh, reviving wants to have a good physical attack. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna cut. The, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, you know what? Acceptable. Its defense isn't the best, so I don't mind if its physical defense goes down. But I was wanting one with a physical attack. So here we go. Finally, 
But yeah, the main reason I've been wanting, I was actually doing all of these fossils, which I think this is my sixth Crania dose, is because Crania dose is actually going to be one of my uh, substitute team members. And I'm swapping you out. So yeah, the downside is the Crania dose do start at level one, so you're going to have a lot of training to do for uh, them to be on par with the rest of your team, but hey, it is what it is, and I don't mind it. I'll, I'll take it as it is. I actually do want to see how many Cranidos did it take me, because two in a row, I got one that was, uh, that had, uh, lower its attack, so it took me one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, it took me six Cranidos. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna have a lot of rejected Pokemon in my party, and I feel bad. Oh, yeah. I do actually have a nickname for this Cranny Dose, and y'all will actually see it in the next episode, but for the time being, that is actually gonna be it. I will see y'all in the next episode. Peace out, guys! I don't know why I'm saving first.